clerk now recognizes the gentleman from California, Mr. Aguilar. Madam Clerk, I rise today at the direction of the House Democratic Caucus to place into nomination for election to the position of Speaker of the House of Representatives, the pride of Brooklyn, Hakeem Jeffries of New York. Today, Madam Clerk, House Democrats are united. <laughs> united by a speaker who will put people over politics. Hakeem Jeffries has worked his entire life to improve economic opportunity for all people. He is committed to strengthening the American dream by lowering costs for working families, building safer communities, by taking weapons of war off streets, and by creating good paying jobs in industries of the future. As we work to implement our historic legislative accomplishments of the last two years, House Democrats are united behind a speaker who wants to make things in America and bring home jobs that have been shipped overseas to write a tax code. to write a tax code that rewards hard work, not wealth, to invest in clean energy that reduces our country's dependence on fossil fuels. From voting rights to reproductive rights, we are united, Madam Clerk. We are unified behind a speaker who is an unapologetic advocate for protecting and expanding our freedoms. He does not traffic in extremism. He does not grovel to or make excuses for a twice impeached so-called former president. <laughs> Madam Clerk, he does not bend a knee to anyone who would seek to undermine our democracy. Because, Madam Clerk, that's not what leaders do. Because he understands what great leaders of this House understand, that this body and this institution are best equipped to serve the needs of this democracy and the beautiful mosaic of the members it sends. That our responsibility as members of this body is to protect the American dream and honor the sacrifice of the generations before us. Like the sacrifice of a mother and a social worker who borrowed against her pension to put her children through school. Mom and dad were determined that their children would graduate without any debt so that they could pursue their dreams to the best of their ability, no matter the hardship or the sacrifice. Today, Hakeem's leadership style is quite simple. Spread love, it's the Brooklyn way. Yeah, this album is dedicated to all the teachers that told me I never amount to nothing. For all the people that lived above the buildings that I was hustling from that called the police on me when I was just trying to make some money to feed my daughter. And all the niggas in the struggle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's born of this working class upbringing in that same borough, Hakeem and his brother were raised in the first home that their parents ever bought, thanks to their collectively bargained salary, and it's where they live today. It was in this house where his younger brother saw a future leader, where his mother saw a thoughtful, passionate young man, and where his father saw a competitor, whose GPA went up when his younger brother started high school. <laughs> his family always at his side, some here with us today and some watching from home. His mom and dad, Kenny, JJ, Joshua, and his younger brother, Dr. Hassan Jeffries. Mrs. Jeffries and her husband told their sons, it doesn't matter what you do, but it has to be done in the service of people. 
And that's how Hakeem will lead. He's going to serve all of us so that we can best serve the American public. That selflessness, that commitment to success of those around you is what shaped his career and what sh will shape our joint future together. He knows success isn't about personal achievement. He's a leader who will be with you in the beginning, whether it's your bill and an important priority in your district. He'll ride alongside you as you do the work, and he'll be there at the end to see you through. Because he knows that our success means that we can raise the quality of life for our constituents, creating better jobs and building safer communities. He has guided every step of the way by his faith and his mom, his mom instilled in him. Sunday mornings weren't always easy in the Jeffries house. The young man who knew he wanted to be a lawyer would argue with his mom about going to church that day. But failure is a good teacher. <laughs> he lost those arguments. And now Hakeem goes to church every weekend, sometimes that one where his church family is at Cornerstone Baptist or somewhere else in the district where he can meet his constituents where they are. He remembers that after church on Sundays, he'd go to Nano's house where there was an open door at his grandmother's house for the entire neighborhood and their elders to come through with food and conversation. A young Hakeem listening to everything, but usually just trying to catch the score of the Jets game. This is where wisdom gets passed down. And now, guided by the faith and wisdom of leaders like Jim Clyburn, Greg Meeks, John Lewis, Steny Hoyer, and Nancy D'Alessandro Pelosi. It is shaped by that guidance that we are prepared to nominate a leader who will open the door to the new generation of leadership. Madam Clerk, a Latino is nominating for leader of this chamber a black man for the first time in our history. Madam, Madam Clerk, that's progress, and it's progress that the country wants to continue for this Congress and for our country. Therefore, as chair of the Democratic Caucus, I am directed by the vote of that caucus to present for election to the Office of Speaker of the House of Representatives for the 118th Congress the name of the Honorable Hakeem Jeffries, representative-elect from the state of New York.